Hey, I saw this experiment on YouTube recently where these, somebody made a magnet kind of floating there with a Dremel tool. So I kind of took it, decided to do the same thing, and, and sure as crap, see if it would work. And it does work. But what I did notice is normally when you see this trick, you know that the bottom magnet is spinning. But I found out if you just kind of hold it a little bit, you can actually get it to stay still or don't spin. And you can kind of get it just to kind of just hang out a little bit versus spinning. So instead of it, you know, spinning, rotating really fast, it kind of just swings back and forth, but it's not spinning. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I've seen videos of people making a kind of the Dremel tool have the matic floating in midair, but I was kind of just messing with it and realized that if you just kind of hold it just a little bit, it won't spin this much. Or not spin, I was kind of jiggling in place. Let me see. Uh, I can see if I can get it to do it again. Very hard to keep it from spinning, I'll tell you that. This is pretty hard to do, actually. There we go. And normally any vibrations will get at the spark. Like if you really tap it or touch it, it'll start spinning again. If you kind of mess with it too much, it'll actually start spinning. It'll pick it all wobbling really, really bad. Yeah, it's gonna start spinning again. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can get it to stop again. Well, it's spinning pretty fast now. Let me see if I can get it to stop. Oh crap. Let's try it again. Right, it's spinning right now. Let me see if I can get it to just stay in place a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I start and spin again. Hold on. pretty hard to do, actually. Yeah. So it's pretty much just floating in midair now. It's swinging back and forth a little bit, but it's not making like full turns at all. It's just kind of just wiggling back and forth. So I thought this was pretty cool. All right.